Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. A long drill string is subjected to all kinds of stresses. Pencil load, compression, torque, bending, and so on. Here in this episode, we'll focus on the tensile and the compression load. If the long drill string is put off bottom, hanging freely in the vertical borehole, the whole string is under tension, and the tensile stress is, of course, greatest at the top end of the drill string, at the surface. But if we now run the string down on bottom and apply weight on the bit, the lower part of the drill string is, of course, exposed to pressure. The more weight we apply to the bit, the less hook load remains at the surface. So as we can see from this graph, the upper part of the drill string is under tension and the lower part is under pressure. The point in the graph which separates the tension area from the compression area is called the neutral point. Why am I telling you this? Below the neutral point, we have to consider certain effects in our drilling operation. Due to compression loads below the neutral point, the drill string will bend. And if due to bending, the string gets in contact with the borehole wall, friction is created. The more friction we have between the string and the borehole, the more difficult it becomes to push the drill string forward. Of course, the friction effects even get worse in horizontal boreholes. And most deep boreholes are deviated or horizontal today, at least at the lower end. If we start pushing the drill string forward, it will initially touch the borehole wall only in some few spots. But if we push harder because we need more weight on the bit to destroy the rock, then we'll see the drill string starts to snake in the borehole. It touches the wall in a sinusoidal part. And if we push even harder, then the drill string will form a helix in the borehole. It goes around the entire borehole wall, creating a lot of friction. Often this effect can get to the point of self-locking, such that you cannot push the drill string any further at all. I've tried to draw it here behind me. But you can see the effects much more nicer in a small experiment which you can see behind me here. You can see how we insert a flexible blue hose into a glass tube. The lower end of the hose now hits the bottom of the borehole and we increase the weight on bit. You can see very clearly that increasing the pressure from behind the drill string first leads to sinusoidal buckling and then helical buckling where it gets in complete contact with the entire borehole wall. In drilling practice, buckling of the drill string can become a significant challenge. This is why we have specific software that is applied prior to the drilling operation in order to find out whether buckling will occur and if the drill string can be pushed forward at all to generate the required weight on the bit. We can see here that the bending stresses along the drill string are calculated and the torque along the drill string is also calculated. Such softwares are complex and pretty expensive. And so, we are happy that Alibotin allows us to use their landmark software for free in our lectures. This is a smart advertising, of course. In our lectures, we teach our students how to use such complex programs, and these skills are, of course, very, very useful later in their careers. We will be happy to have you in Freiburg in our lecture. Glukov, choose.